Hey guys, my name is Matt, and this lovely lady up front here to start is Shedded Stormy. And Stormy, she is a mule, not a horse. Uh, we only use mules for carriage tours here in the Wallens by city law. Uh, they're really overall better for the job. They're stronger pound for pound of a horse of the same size, smarter, more sure-footed. It is a city law here in New Orleans because the mules take the heat and humidity here and are climbing a lot better than a horse will. So uh, we're starting, we're running around here in the Maroney and uh, this is one of my little favorite neighborhoods here. Uh, my favorite tour to do uh, is the French Quarter and the Marigny Tour, which encompasses the two oldest neighborhoods in the, in the, in the city. Of course, the French Quarter, uh, very famous. The lesser known over here, the Marigny, the first suburb in the Wallace. And, uh, one of my favorite characters uh, in my on all my tours, be it a cemetery tour or a Marigny tour, is Bernard de Marigny. Of course, the uh, Marigny neighborhood is named after Bernard de Marigny. Now, this land was originally his family's sugarcane plantation. Bernard de Marigny inherited the plantation and the family's fortune of seven million dollars at the age of 15. Seven million dollars in today's money would be over 150 million. Bernard was a very spoiled, rambunctious youth. When his parents were still alive, they hosted a dinner for Duke Louis-Philippe of France. He later became King Louis-Philippe. For the dinner, they purchased some special solid gold flatware. After the dinner was over, they threw all the gold flatware into the river, and they said no one else was worthy of using it. But when uh, Bernard's parents died, his uncle became his guardian, and he sent Bernard to a reform school in London. Now this did not help out very much. Bernard came back from London worse than he was before. He also brought back from this game he had learned in Europe. And in Europe they called the game Hazards. And Bernard de Marigny changed the name to Craps. And he is the man responsible for introducing the game of Craps in North America. He got the name because when they played they crouched down, threw the dice onto the ground, and people said they looked like frogs. The French word for frog is crapeau. Bernard did not pronounce the word right, he said craps. He started teaching the game to his friends. Unfortunately for Bernard, his friends were much better at the game than he was. He lost most of the family's fortune playing craps. So to recoup some of his money, he started dividing up the plantation and selling it off as individual plots. And that's how the Marigny became the first suburb in New Orleans. Really, where immigrants and freed slaves were first settled here in the city. Bernard de Marigny died at the age of 82 with $20,000 to his name. He did not die penniless, but a far cry from the seven million he inherited when he was 15. And I guess his bad luck continued his entire life. At the age of 82, he did not die of old age. He actually slipped and fell and cracked his head open. We're going to come up here to 